Welcome back to the 24th annual Share Your Christmas Drive-By Food Drive. We are coming to you live right now from the Grand Sierra Resort in Reno, where a lot of donations have already come in. And we're only about uh, three and a half hours into today's food drive, and it's incredible what we are seeing. We're seeing a lot of cars, of course, donating food. And then another big story today is the money donations. And we have another huge presentation coming to us right now. This is uh, Dermot McMahon with uh, Microsoft right out here. In Re and you're the general manager, right? Uh, correct. I'm general manager for the OEM division. Okay, so I understand that what we're about to see is an incredible check with an incredible amount of money with an incredible backstory to it, right? So tell us a little bit about what happened. Thank you, Landon. Yeah, well, every every year in uh, in October, Microsoft globally has a giving campaign, and, and here in Reno, we uh, we act locally ar around that. So we had an event where the employees led it, uh, and all of the site leadership team basically uh, did lots of very embarrassing things, and uh, <laughs> the employees all auctioned, uh, you know, to to pay to see which which leader would do which embarrassing thing. And what what did you do? Uh, a number of things. We had a. Uh, we had a, a, a water challenge or a water fight where uh, we drew cards and if you lost, you got like a bucket of water over your head, for example. We had sumo wrestling, uh, we, had lip <laughs> we had lip sync, <laughs> yeah, we had lots of uh, egg breaking, you know, so like boiled eggs, you know. On the floor. Did you do some Justin Bieber or anything like that? Uh, no, I, uh, I actually tried to do a little bit of uh, House of Pain, which was kind of embarrassing, actually. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh-uh. Yeah, uh -uh. yeah totally. Jump, jump, jump around. Okay. So in that entire time, you raised quite a bit of money. How much did we raise in, in just one afternoon? Well, I'm delighted to say, Landon, that we raised $34,254, of which is employee donations matched by Microsoft. Uh, and the really good news is that this is more than we raised last year. Last year we raised uh, funds that I believe uh, fed over or get, uh, provided over 150,000 meals for the Food Bank of Northern uh, Nevada. That is incredible. $34,254 all raised in one afternoon. Absolutely. And uh, this is part of Microsoft's overall philosophy. We, we like to give back to the community. In the last five years alone, Microsoft has given about $2.5 million uh, into uh, community in northern Nevada. And that is a beautiful thing. Jocelyn Landtrip with the Food Bank of Northern Nevada. You get $34,000. What, what, what kind of impact does that have for you? It really goes a long way. We can get fresh food with this. It's so exciting. And I have to say, I've gone to this event of theirs every year, and it is my favorite. It is so funny. They um, do embarrassing things every year in the name of feeding people, and it's, it's really a great time. What was it again? Uh, which they the song that you lip sync? Oh, oh uh, House of Pain, jump around, yeah. Should we do that as we uh, as we toss it? Well, everyone, well, everyone together. But we've got a great team, and I just want to say that uh, <laughs> Microsoft is celebrating 20 years in in uh, Reno next year. Uh, so you know we're looking forward to doing this again in the future. Okay, team. One, two, three. There you go, Kristen. We're gonna send it over to you. Can you can you continue that for us? Jump, 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 He's crazy. He is crazy. He keeps me on my toes, that's for sure. Okay, so the great thing about this event, too, aside from all the entertainment, is it's great to see nonprofits supporting other nonprofits. And uh, that's what we are seeing again here today with Barracuda Tournament here. We have Chris Hoff here, who is the tournament director of the Barracuda Championship Golf Tournament at Montreux every year. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate you having me and appreciate you not making us jump. I know. <laughs> Well, you kind of gave me, he's like, we're not doing that, we're not doing that. I won't make you do it, I promise, Chris. Um, you know, the thing we talk about every year is it's great to see so much support during the holidays. We love it. The food bank needs it. They need all the food to help uh, get through the beginning of next year. But then summer rolls around, and there's definitely a need again. And that's where you kind of come in. So tell us what you guys do at the tournament. Yeah, so we have off-site parking for, you know, general public and whoever. And we'll either charge money, or if you bring non-perishable food items as a donation to the food bank, uh, you can park for free. So every year, it's, it's in the thousands of pounds that we've been able to raise for the food bank. And you're right, it's an important time of year outside of the holidays, summertime. And, uh, and we're thrilled to be able to help other non non-profits. That's, that's our mission and fill that need. And speaking of charities, something exciting just happened this week. Um, you have a charity with Barracuda, and then tell me what happened. You nominated that charity somewhere. Yes, so every PJ Tour event can nominate one of the charities that they work with, 
as the PGA Tour Charity of the Year. And uh, the commissioner and a few other executives uh, choose a Charity of the Year, and we are thrilled that each one tell one, a local charity here, uh, close to all your hearts, yeah. with, with Wendy's involvement. Uh, they won the PJ Tour Charity of the Year. So uh, Thursday, Wednesday night, we had a dinner down in Las Vegas with all of the PJ Tour events, and it was so cool. And we are just thrilled that uh, our charity here is the Charity of the Year. Absolutely. Some Reno love across the country for 2017. Fantastic. Thank you for all you do, not just for each one tell one, obviously, but for the Food Bank of Northern Nevada for bringing this great tournament here year after year. Number 19? Number 19 coming up. Yeah. Hard to believe. Hard to believe. <laughs> Great work. We can't wait. It's at the end of July, early August. July 31 to August 6. Very good. Okay, I'll see you out there. Thanks so much, Chris. And we are going to send it over to Paul now. Yeah, Chris, and I'm joined here with Sabina from Famous Dave's. I'm pretty sure you just offered to give me free lunch. I, I could did. use some barbecue right now. I did. I did. Absolutely. Some ribs would be perfect breakfast. It's because I was here first. <laughs> out of the reporters for today, 5.30 this morning. I beat Kristen here, and I beat Landon. And I beat Mike. That's why she wants to give me free lunch. Anyway, you guys do a lot year-round to help out with the Food Bank of Northern Nevada. Oh, absolutely. Our biggest feather in our cap is the Food Bank concert. We do it every June. We've been doing it for the last five years. Last, in 2016, we sold 600 tickets. All the proceeds go to the Food Bank. There's the Famous Dave's Food Truck is out there. We have a full Famous Bar out there, and they have a really good time doing it, and it's been a great relationship. And not only do you uh, raise the funds throughout the year, but you guys have something going on here too, right? Yes, we do. Today we brought in a bucket of goodies. We have $10 off. We have some free appetizers. So anyone who comes by while they last, they'll be able to come by afterwards and have some lunch. Why is it so important for you and for your organization to come down here and, and do this kind of thing? The owners focus very much on doing stuff that stays within the community. We do the de denim drive, we do the food bank, a number of other things. But it's nice to give back where you live, and especially during the holidays, being a restaurant, thinking that there's people out there that are hungry, we definitely want to help out with that. I'm hungry, and I'm pretty sure she offered to give me free ribs. I'm not going to hold you to it, though. Oh, I'll give you free ribs. Come by for lunch. All right, you're on. All right, thanks, Sabina. We Thank appreciate you being here. We're going to send it down to Carson now. Yeah, we are here at the Governor's Mansion in Carson City, and we have a lot of donations so far. Yes, yeah, somebody just stopped over and maybe see it. Car with antlers on it, and it was had a red nose, so it's a Rudolph car. But yeah, people have stopped by from donations. We got this big old thing of peanut butter here. There's two big old things. Guess if you like super chunky peanut butter, this one's for you. But yeah. Things are going great here. People are driving up, dropping off food all the time. So it's a really great cause for the advocates to end domestic violence. Yeah, we actually have that nonprofit here with us all morning long. They've been helping us for several hours. And so we're going to send it over to Angela Schilling, who has that interview for us right now. Yeah, I'm here with Lisa with Advocates to End Domestic Violence, and we're so happy to have you here and your whole group, you know, sporting your purple jackets and everything. So great to have you. So what is it that you guys kind of represent? You know what this food drive does for us, we have the largest shelter for victims of domestic violence in northern Nevada, and this is what's going to fill our pantries for the year and really help us make sure that we can feed everybody who comes to us and um, give them breakfast, lunch, and dinner all throughout the year. So this is a big help to us. Yeah, I imagine, like, how fast is that food go by? I mean, does it go by each day? I mean, how long will all these donations last? You know, we try and make sure it gets us until June, and then we do another uh, in May, uh, postal food drive is a big help. But this is really what stocks our shelves and, and stretches us through the year. And what kinds of things would you guys eat? I mean, vegetables, I mean, a variety of things. You know, you know, showing you the peanut butter and, you know, always the protein's important, but we also really need the paper products, you know, the toilet paper, the paper towels, the diapers, that type of thing is always really important to us because we're a full service shelter. They were able to stay with us for five months, so we really go through a lot of product in that time. So what does it mean to the ladies and the people involved, you know, that are using it? You know, it's funny when someone checks into the shelter, they really think it's going to be a different experience than it is. And they're always shocked at how nice it is and how much the community helps out to get them back on their feet. So it's a real treat to know that people support you. Yeah, and you were telling me, you know, you guys have been a part of uh, Share Your Christmas for a really long time. I mean, about 20 years or since Over, started, right? since the very beginning of it. The food bank was very gracious to come down and invite us into it. And Sherry with the food bank, you know, encompassed us and pulled us in. And it's been, a, it's been our savior for years. 
Well, that's so great. We're so happy to have you and we wish you the best. Well, and you. hopefully uh, we can get a whole lot more donations. Of course, we'll be out here till six o'clock here in Carson City at the governor's mansion. Thank you so much. And now we'll send it back over to Minden. How are you guys doing out there? Hey, thanks.